More mandatory evacuation orders have also been lifted in Larimer County for people living near the Alexander Mountain fire. That one destroyed more than two dozen homes. And more people were allowed to go back home and assess the damage today. Denver 7's Veronica Acosta spoke to people still waiting for their opportunity to get back in. The Alexander Mountain fire still sits at 9,668 acres burned. That is the same amount that officials told us about on Monday afternoon, though the good news this time is that it has jumped to 83% containment. During today's press conference, we learned the perimeter of the fire is contained. Fire crews are now working on making sure any interior fire is really put out. Earlier today, officials opened Highway 34 to Idlewild Lane. But for those who live on Storm Mountain and the Cedar Park community, it is still very much a waiting game. We spoke with a woman who owns property in that area. She picked up her credential today to be able to get back in as soon as she's given the go ahead. She told us she's been through this before, but is ready to get back up to the mountain and see what's left. So Cedar Park is is like in the valley and uh, we take the road further up into the mountains up on top almost to uh, Storm Mountain. But he was sending me pictures and it was stressful because I saw the how thick the, the smoke was and I'm like going, oh boy, here we go again. The Larimer County Sheriff told us there is a possibility people who live in the Storm Mountain and Cedar Park community will be able to return back to their homes tomorrow on Wednesday, though that all depends on whether the utility company is able to finish its work up in that area. It also is dependent on weather. We know that there is a bit of a flood risk in that area. and That's something officials are also looking out for. In Larimer County, I'm Veronica Acosta, Denver 7. A little 